In this video, we are going to look at how to do inter-VLAN routing using a multi-layer or a layer 3 switch. I am going to use Packet Tracer version 8 for this lab. Before we get into the video, let's go through some of the basics very quickly. VLANs are logically isolated from each other as they are separate broadcast domain. You know this very well. Devices within a VLAN can communicate with each other with no additional network configuration. However, devices in separate VLANs need routing functionality to be able to communicate between themselves. This is called inter-VLAN routing. Inter-VLAN routing can be configured in three different ways. One is the traditional method, which is an older method. The next one is router on a stick. Third one is a layer three switch or a multi-layer switch. So let's look at traditional method. This is an older method and not in use nowadays. In this method, you need separate physical interfaces on the router for each VLAN. Each link between router and the switch will be access link. So you have two VLANs here, VLAN 10 and 20. And you have a switch here, you have a router here. You need separate interfaces in each router to be able to route between these two VLANs. Think about if you have 100 VLANs in an enterprise environment, this method is not scalable. You are going to wear you are going to waste hundreds of ports on the switch and you need a lot of routers with a lot of ports. So this is not scalable. Next one is the router on a stick. I have covered this in a separate video using a packet tracer lab. I have the link in the description. If you click on top of the video, I have a link out there. You can watch that video from here. The third method is the layer 3 switch or multi-layer switch. This is the main topic of this video. So I'm going to recreate exactly what I what you see in this diagram and show you how to do routing between VLAN 10 and 20 using the multi-layer switch. Say you have two switches here. These are, these are layer 2 switches and this will be the multi-layer switch. So what you are going to do is you are going to create the SVI that is called the switch virtual interface in this layer 3 switch and that will enable the routing between these two VLANs. So let's get into the lab and start to configure this. So I have packet tracer opened here. So I'm going to put the switches here, go to network device, bring a layer 2 switch. This is a layer 2 switch. I'm going to put here and I have another layer 2 switch and I am going to put a layer 3 or multi-layer switch here. Did you see a diagram like that? That is a multi-layer switch. So let's configure these two switches first before we introduce this multi-layer switch. So I have a layer 2 switch here and let me create a two hosts here. So I'm holding the control button here so I can create any amount of host here. And you escape and it will go away. And if you want to delete one, just click here in the delete and just come delete that host. Okay, so let's escape here. Let me, okay. So what I have done is in the options, I went to the preference and then I disabled these labels. That's why you are not seeing the labels for the devices. Show device model label, show device name label. So if you enable both of them, it will show you those switch names and the device names. Okay, then let's, uh, so 
So let's start to connect them between each other. Fast Ethernet, and then I go here, way zero one. Fast Ethernet, zero two. The same thing here. Zero one. So zero two. And then I will link this. Okay, let me pick this cable. So automatically choose connection type. Here. And it chose the FA03 on both of us on both of the switches I'm going to go and change that to the gig port gig one gig one here okay let's start to configure this so I have to configure this link as a trunk and these links as an access port Let's go into the switch here. Enable from T. Let's create the VLAN VLAN 10, VLAN 20. You can name them if you want. Say name that's VLAN 20 is marketing. VLAN 10 name sales so we have created the VLAN here and then I'm going to assign int int FA01 switch port mode access port access VLAN 10 so the first PC goes to VLAN 10 the second one will be say 0 2 you use upper row key to get your previous commands switch port access switch port mode access switch port access VLAN 20 so this side is configured and then configure this as a trunk port. Int gig zero one switch port switch port mode trunk. That is configured. So this side is done and do the same thing here. Enable trunk T VLAN. 10 name sales VLAN 20 name you don't have to come out from the uh, VLAN configuration mode to create multiple VLANs so that is also done and print FA01 switch port mode mode access switch port access VLAN 10 go to the next port F2 switch port mode access that's the VLAN 20. So all done. So I'm going to go to this PCs and I have not configured it's this as trunk. Int click 0 1 switch port mode trunk. And so let's uh, write mem. So we write to that 
from running config to the startup config. Okay, so let's go to these PCs and let's do the right mem. Okay, now I'm going to go to this PC, configure desktop, and then I configure the IP address. That is 192.168.1.5. And I don't need to have a gateway now because it's going to use only the layer 2 here. Okay, let me copy this one. Go here, desktop. And then this is going to be two. So when you have two different VLAN, you need to associate them with the different subnets. And okay, that's done. And you do the same here. Desktop. Two, six. And then this will be the stop one six. Okay, let's cross our fingers and start with pink across uh, these switch links pink hundred ninety two hundred sixty eight one dot six. I'm using uh, 1.5 PC to ping 1.6. Cool, I am able to ping now. And uh, so let's try to ping 12.6 on the other side. I'm not able to ping because there is a different VLAN, VLAN 20, so it's timing out. Yeah. So let's go to this this PC. You know the IP address is two six on VLAN twenty. Let's pink pink hundred ninety two hundred sixty eight two dot five. That's uh, this PC here. You are able to pink. See whether you can ping this PC on VLAN 10, that is 1.5. You are not able to ping because that is on a different VLAN. So this is where you want to enable inter-VLAN routing. So let's do just that. So I'm going to introduce this uh, layer 3 switch to do the inter-VLAN routing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, this is the 3650 switch and it doesn't have a power supply. If you try to open CLI, it will say device must be powered on. So what you have to do is, this is a modular power supply. You have to put the power supply separately. So I am going to put both power supply. That means I have dual power supply. If one fails, the switch will be up because you have other power supply. If you see here, the fans are also modular, but in the previous switches like a 3750, all these are like a fixed, you cannot change them. All right, so that's just a, a small side talk. So let's go back to our configuration. So this must be booting up now. So it's already booted. So I say no for this uh, initial configuration dialog. Now I want to configure using CLI, enable, config int VLAN 10. Before we start to configure, just connect these switches to this layer three switch. 
pick a connection go from here to here and it automatically picked the ports so this is a gig port this is a FA03 port let's go and change that I should have a gig port okay I have a gig here and I have a gig one here okay now I can go and start to configure I need to have a VLAN first VLAN 10 that is up name sales VLAN 20 name marketing so VLANs are configured now so let me configure the IP for these VLANs next so this will be the SVI so we have the VLAN SVI already been created and I'm going to configure the IP for the SVI so int VLAN 10 IP IP address 192, so this IP will be the gateway IP for all these PCs so IP address configured so let's go to VLAN 20 interface IP address that will be 21 so that is configured now and let's enable the trunking on this on these ports so int gig 1 zero one switch port trunk encapsulation dot one q so in a layer three switch you have to enable dot one q tagging and I go and then switch port mode mode trunk so that is done and let's go to this switch and I have to configure O2 like that T int gig zero two so try let's try the encapsulation that's not going to work on the layer two switch switch port trunk you have if you see you don't have that option for encapsulation switch port trunk encapsulation is not available so I can only make this as a trunk switch port mode trunk and so that is enabled now and what else you have to do is now you have to go to this layer 3 switch let's write this mem write a mem on this switch now I go to this layer 3 switch exit and I go to the global config and enable IP routing so if you see here show IP show IP route and you have no IP route enabled here Conf IP IP routing and write mem show IP show IP route and if you see here you have the IP routes enabled now so you have both VLANs VLAN 10 VLAN 20 these are the associated networks they both are directly connected to this switch 
let's close this out and uh, see whether we can ping the devices across the VLAN. So I have this one go here. Let's cross the fingers and start to ping. So I'm going to ping from this one to this one. So we are not able to ping. I know what's happening because I did not configure the gateway IP, that is the SVI IP for all these PCs because that is where the routing happening. So I need to configure the gateway IP. So that will be for this VLAN 10, that will be 192.168.1.1. And I have to do that in here also. One, one, copy, then I go here, this will be two, one, two, one, this will be also two, one. Okay, now I should be able to ping each other. So let's go here and open up the command prompt and uh, ping another 9268. So I'm pinging from 1.5. So let's ping 1.6 on the other side. I'm, a, I'm able to ping. Let's ping the one on VLAN 20. This is how the inter VLAN routing kicks in 2.6. I'm able to ping that one also. So let's go here to this PC. That's a uh, IP config 2.6 and ping ping 192.168 that's the on the same VLAN on the other side of the switch that I'm able to ping let's ping 1.6 that is on VLAN 10. So here you need inter VLAN routing. I am able to ping. So you now know how to do inter VLAN routing using a multi layer switch. I uh, hope this video is uh, very helpful for you to understand the concept. Most of the time in an enterprise environment, uh, they do this kind of inter VLAN routing using a layer 3 switch. Um, so please do subscribe, like and comment on this video and share this video with your friends who is preparing for CCNA or CCNP exams. Alright, thanks so much. Bye.